When a storm is expected to hit, Laura Hayes already knows about it. I definitely know even on those beautiful days that there's a storm coming in. She suffers from pain. She says is triggered by the weather. Hot, numbing type pressure um, from my thigh to my knee. Hayes says she's had this pain as long as she can remember and often finds herself cooped up in the house on weekends, missing her son's baseball games. Just to have a relief of some of the pain, just to be able to, um, on those days, be able to spend time with my family without um, laying on the couch and just um, hurting. She is paying a visit to Dr. Robert Schwartz of Piedmont Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation in Greenville. He specializes in cases just like hers and says mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. symptoms are right. indicative of weather sensitive um, sympathetic pain. You know, I've had patients that say that they're out on Lake Hartwell and it's 90 degrees out and the breeze caused them to have pain in their hand and they had to cover up. Research shows aches around the joint and tendon areas have been linked to changes in the barometric pressure in the air. Usually when the weather is severe, those aches are triggered and patients like Jeff Petty start throbbing all over. If I walk into some place that's real cold, I won't stay in there long because it gets the pain gets too too bearable. You just do what you can on this one. We'll go slow. Jeff Petty used to be very active, but now he's right, restricted to a right, knee brace and a cane because he can't Pretty walk on his own. Hey, I used to be a cross country runner and I used to train horses, ride four wheelers jet skis, I got a place on the lake, swim all the time, all that's gone. Petty is meeting with Dr. Schwartz too in hopes of finding some sort of relief. If I get rid of 50% of my pain, I would be so happy and just, I don't know, I'd be beside myself and buy Dr. Schwartz the biggest steak he ever ate. Dr. Schwartz says Petty's pain is different and more severe than Hayes. He says Petty suffers from reflex sympathetic dystrophy and is at the point where Petty's starting to lose muscle mass. Those are some of the hallmark signs, loss of range of motion, um, loss of motor control, severe sensitivity to weather. Dr. Schwartz says these syndromes are caused by the skin's inability to regulate temperature. He used this analogy. Imagine putting a glass of hot water in the refrigerator Refrigerator. You imagine over time the temperature of the water will get cooler, but instead half gets cold and half stays hot. That's what happens to people who suffer from reflex sympathetic dystrophy. Their skin stays one temperature while their core is another. A feeling Penny says is hard to describe. It's like it's an ice cube inside my leg. The plan is to treat and rehabilitate the problem, aches and pains in the ligaments and tendons. And here I have the uh, transducer or the probe on her Achilles tendon. And we're looking to see if there's any irregularities. For Hayes, Dr. Schwartz wants to rebuild her ligaments and tendons in hopes of making them stronger and less susceptible to severe weather. Even on the weather days, I feel some pain, but completely bearable pain. Hayes says her pain has dulled since she first saw Dr. Schwartz. She says it didn't happen overnight, but gradually she started feeling better. You know, I can get out in the yard on the weekends and play with them. Dr. Schwartz says he used a method called proliferative therapy, which injects an anesthetic and an irritant into joints, ligaments, or tendons that are weakened, torn, or pulled. It's a non-surgical way to strengthen the weakened connective tissue. Just with the shots and the blocks, it's like it stabilizes the coldness. I can handle it a whole lot better than what I used to be able to have with the cold. Some time has passed since Petty first visited with Dr. Schwartz. He gave Petty nerve block injections, which helps the nerve repair after constant irritation, and in addition tried to rebuild and strengthen Petty's joints and tendons through therapy, a combination both say has improved his quality of life. But it's... It's positive right now where it used to be all negative. Reporting in Greenville, Jenna Cayazzo, Fox, Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.